This video is about how to make an armor using the extract function in ZBrush and also how to use IMM armor edges that I made. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is mask out the area where you want to generate the armor and then extract it by accepting. And after extraction, isolate the back side of the mesh by pressing Control shift left side button on the mouse and then delete the hidden part. Flip to normals. And polish the surface to get cleaner, zero measure result. And after polishing, Zero mesh rate with health turned on. And keep reducing the polygons until you get relatively low poly count. You can use the move brush to fix the uneven surface. Now it's time to make whole mesh. And there are two ways to do that. First is by using panel loops that is located in the edge loop sub palette. Just choose the thickness, drag down the loops to one and play around with the settings. And now you can add sharpness to your mesh by using crease that is located in a crease sub palette. Use crease PG option, which will add crease, which means sharp edges to the borderline where the polygroups are met. And the second way of adding thickness is by using the modeler brush. Just hover over to the polygon, press spacebar, choose Q mesh, and choose all polygons and drag it out. And sometimes you'll need to play around with the polygroups and the crease to get sharper edges. And for that, you can go to Polygroup sub palette and choose Group by Normals by choosing the angle. And apply Crease PG again. And after that, you will get sharpness all around the edges. I'll be repeating the same process that we did for the most parts of the armor. So you can watch the first and repeat the same.
So, we're good so far. Now, I want to show you another way of adding an armor, a part of the armor, which is using a, a primitives or any other subtool. And basically, it's a primitive without using the extract function. And I'm going to use uh, just a sphere uh, and I'm going to import it as just a separate subtool and I'm going to use selection brush. So I'm going to select the part that I want to use as a part of the armor. And then I'm going to use um, polishing the surface that we did with the, the first and the second parts, right? And then just put it on the place and use the same process. Like uh, I can use a Z modeler or you can use the panel loops. Just choose the way you want. So I spent some time by making other parts of the armor by using the same technique that we did with the first and the second uh, parts of the armor. So you don't have to worry that you missed something. It's the same process. Uh, so I made um, some other parts of the armor. And now what we are going to do is something different, uh, which is using the uh, IMM armor edges that I made uh, to add decoration to the edges of the armor. So what you have to do is um, click the armor part that you want to add the decorations and press Control shift and click left side button of the mouse to the facing towards polygroup and with the remaining part just go to stroke curve functions and switch off creased edges and polygroups just stay with the borders only and press frame mesh so it's going to add the curve where you can add the IMM armor edges. Just go to brush, load the brush, and find the brush location where you extracted from the zip file. 
Once you open up the brush, choose one of the edges. Choose the size and hover over to the curve line that you added with the curve function. And then click once. Don't forget to switch off the symmetry, otherwise it's going to add two layers of the edge. I'm going to be doing the same process with the edges with the, all the rest parts of the armor. So it's going to be a repetitive process. Enjoy watching. Sometimes you're going to have problems with the edges and you can fix that. Just open up the move brush and try to make it even. Uh, you can isolate it with um, just isolation brush or mask it out. Or you can get a Z model brush, use the insert and delete the edges. And after you've done, you can get Z modeler, hover over to the edge, press spacebar, choose crease, and edge loop complete. And then you're gonna have sharp edge. So that's it. And now I'm gonna add more decorations with the help of another insert mesh that I made. It's uh, 84 IMM pattern curves, so you can get it from my online stores. And this brush is gonna have as a bonus um, insert tools that you can even add more decorations. All of my brushes have free versions, including the IMM armor edges and pattern curves that I used. So you can find them from my ArtStation page. And there's another second part um, of this armor creation process where you can watch how to make a helmet. And it's going to be almost the same techniques. So you can find the link down in the description. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you learned something new. I wish you happy ZBrushing. Peace.